ادْعُ إِلَى سَبِيلِ رَبِّكَ بِالْحِكْمَةِ وَالْمَوْعِظَةِ الْحَسَنَةِ وَجَادِلْهُمْ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنُ إِنَّ رَبَّكَ هُوَ أَعْلَمُ بِمَنْ ضَلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ وَهُوَ أَعْلَمُ بِالْمُهْتَدِينَ My dear brothers, fasting first and me intention. You have to establish, you have to make an intention that you are going to fast during the month of Ramadan when it comes. Why? Allah said, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ So you have to intend that you are going to fast during the month, month of Ramadan. But this intention, can you say, O oh Allah, I intend to fast during the month of Ramadan by saying it loudly to utter it, to say it no all the scholars said it is not in the sunnah of the Prophet sallam, that you will say nawaitu this, 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 this fasting, no all the scholars. So they said, saying it is bid'ah. To say, Bismillah, I intend to fast the month of Ramadan. They said it is the work of the heart. It should be in the in the heart. So they say, At-talaffudu bin-niyya bida. Like you say, Nawaitu suyama ramadana imanan wa ihtisaba. Nawaitu suyama ramadana imanan wa ihtisaba. You know, back home they used to teach us. Our scholars, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive them. Those who are alive among them, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make their endings good. And those who pass among them, may Allah forgive them and give them Jannah. They used to teach us, and not because they don't have, they, they do not, they don't know that it's, it's bid'ah, but they are raising children, trying to let us understand our deen, the importance of the fasting. Not because they neglect or they don't know, no. They were people of knowledge. Allah blessed them with knowledge. They knew that it was bid'ah, but when it comes to teaching the kid, they want to let the kid understand the importance of fasting. That's why you will see that sometimes they will tell you to say, Nawaitu suyama shahra Ramadan, like, like this. Uh -huh. But if you understand, then saying it like that is bid'ah. It should be in the heart. Now, we come. How are you going to make the intention? Is making the intention one time in the beginning of the Ramadan, the first night, is okay, or you have to repeat the intention every night before Fajr? There are sayings here and understanding of the scholars. As I said, we are in class, so we will bring both their reasons. When it comes to Malikiya and some scholars, they think 
one intention during the, 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 uh, for, uh, the beginning of Ramadan is enough for the rest of the months. As long as nothing comes to stop it. Listen. When it comes to Malikiya and some other scholars, they think one intention is okay to fast for the rest of the month of Ramadan. As long as nothing stops you from fasting. Like what? Let's say a sister started fasting Ramadan, but during fasting, maybe she fasts 10 days or 20 days, then her menstruation came. You know, she's going to stop. And if it goes, she will start. So she will make another intention. Otherwise, to them, if you are going to fast the whole month without anything stopping you, then one intention is okay. As long as nothing stops you, like traveling. Maybe a pregnant woman, she is fasting. And she gave birth, she delivered. So after that, you know, due to the bleeding, she will stop. Okay? So something like this, she will stop. And if it stops, then the person continues. Other than that, they said, one intention is enough. There's hadith of Hafsa, authentic hadith of Hafsa. Which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, من لم يؤيت الصيام قبل الفجر فلا صيام له من لم يبيت الصيام قبل الفجر فلا صيام له There is no fasting for the one who does not establish intention before fajr من لم يبيت الصيام قبل الفجر فلا صيام له There is no fasting for the person who does not establish intention before Alhamdulillah Fajr If you are someone who wake up to eat suhoor which is very important we will talk about it later then you waking up to eat Right there, the intention is there. Because why did you wake up? You wake up to eat because you want to fast during the month of Ramadan. And we said intention is the work of the of the heart. So now, to them, every night before Fajr, you have to make intention. And this saying is very, very the scholars are on it a lot of the scholars are on it but alhamdulillah this kind of argument or, or this kind of understanding is so easy because if you wake up to eat fajr there is no mushkila because you waking up is okay even before you sleep you make the intention you know you're going to fast, you say, you know what, I know maybe I, could, I cannot wake up during the fajr to eat, so you know what, let me just drink water or eat before I sleep. Your intention is there already. Now, the second one, Al-Imsaq Anil Mufattirati من طلوع الفجر إلى غروب الشمس to abstain from eating to abstain from drinking 
from dawn until sun sets. Allah said, وَقُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمُ الْخَيْطُ الْأَبْيَضُ مِنَ الْخَيْطِ الْأَسْوَدِ مِنَ الْفَجْرِ ثُمَّ أَتِمُّ الصِّيَامَ إِلَى اللَّيْلِ So after the intention, knowing that you will stay away from eating and drinking during the afternoon of Ramadan with the intention of worshiping Allah. With the intention of Worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, I will jump quick to things that invalidate our fasting. I'm going very slow. I hope, inshallah, everybody's following me. And if I say anything you don't understand, please, you can ask after I finish. Okay? Things that invalidate fasting. Things that when it happens during your fasting, it will invalidate your fasting. Here are some of them. So this one we call it مُبْطِلَاتُ الصِّيَامِ مُبْطِلَاتُ الصِّيَامِ The first one الْأَكْلُ وَالشُّرْءَ عَمْدًا Eating and drinking intentionally You know you are fasting But you go and have, you know Especially now we're going to fast in the hot weather. You know? So you fast and maybe you open the fridge, you find a nice cold water, you know? <laughs> May Allah make it easy. So eating and drinking intentionally during the, the month of during the afternoon of Ramadan is going to invalidate your, your fasting. But if you forget and eat, the prophet said there is nothing on you. So if you eat and then intentionally you have to make up for that, you have to pay it. Now, the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man nasiya wa huwa sa'in fa akala aw shariba fa liyutimma sawmahu fa inna ma at'amahu allahu wa saqa. صلى الله عليه وسلم وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين من نسي وهو صائم فأكل أو شرب فليتم صومه فإنما أطعمه الله وسقاه whoever forgets and eats or drinks while fasting should continue his fasting knowing that it's Allah who fed and gave him water. It's Allah who wish to give that to you to drink or to eat. So when you see what happened, you don't, when, if you remember, you don't go to, oh, you put your hands, you want to. But no, no, no. Whatever you feel your belly during the month, don't worry. Just clean your mouth and come out. Yeah, only Allah knows and He forgives you. You don't have to pay for that day. You don't have to pay for that day. One of the things that invalidates the fasting. To throw up, to vomit intentionally. Intentionally you put your hands in your throat trying to vomit. If you do that, your fasting is invalid. But if it comes without your intention, without you inviting it, 
Then you just rinse your mouth and you continue fasting. Your fasting is okay. And the proof is the sunnah of the Prophet, the hadith of the Prophet He said, Man fala wa man Man fala Maybe, you know, the suhoor, you ate a lot, you drink a lot of water. So during the afternoon, the food couldn't stay. You threw up. It came by itself. Fine. But if yourself, you put your hands all the way down there trying to bring it, then your fasting is invalid. You have to make up for that day. You have to pay.